is me Rahul and today I have a Bluetooth game controller with me. It is the GameSir G3S. So let's check it out. In the box we have the controller, clip on mount to mount the phone, micro USB to micro USB cable, USB to micro USB cable for charging, a small bag, some paperwork and a Bluetooth adapter. When I picked up the controller, the thing that I noticed was it is very comfortable to hold. It fits perfectly in my hand. So now I'm gonna give you guys a physical overview of the controller. On the front we have the D-pad, select and start button as well as turbo and clear buttons. On the right we have XY, AB buttons and on the center we have two analog sticks and a button in the middle which is used for turning on and off and also switching between different modes because you can use this controller to play games not only on your Android phone but also on your PC, PS3 and iPhone. On the top we have the micro USB port which is used for charging the controller and can also be used for connectivity if you wanna go wired and on the other sides we have the shoulder buttons and on the back we have the sticker which is actually very useful because it shows you how to switch between different modes and right below that sticker we have a reset button. And on the bottom we have these LED indicators. So now I am going to share my experience. As I first said, this thing is very comfortable to hold as well as very easy to set up if you read the manual. I played a bunch of games on my PC and on my phone with this controller and I get around 14 to 16 hours of battery life. This controller has a vibrating motor inside so it will vibrate and give you a sort of a in-game experience like for example if you go through dirt in an effort the controller will vibrate and you get sort of a feeling that you are holding the steering wheel. I played GTA Liberty City Stories, FIFA 16, Asphalt 8 on my phone as well as Assassin's Creed and NFS on my PC. The experience was awesome. The problem with these higher end Android games is that it is not really playable with touchscreen control so it was a great experience playing with the controller. I felt more control over my character. And if you take mobile gaming seriously, buying and using a game controller is a good choice. Adding the mount to the controller was fairly easy, you just place the controller between the clamps of the mount and push this in while holding this button. But mounting my phone wasn't that easy because the clips was pushing the volume buttons and changing the volume. Sometimes it goes all the way down and mutes the media volume. There is a cut on these clips for volume buttons but it is really hard to align the volume button to the cut in the first try. But after doing this for about 5 times, it became very easy. To connect the controller to the phone, press and hold the B and the home key and connect the controller to the device via Bluetooth. So let's play some games. As you can see, using a controller to play mobile games can really make a huge difference in the experience that you get. Games of G3S is definitely a good controller and the best one that I have used. It is priced around 40 US dollars and 6000 Indian rupees. I will leave uh, links in the description if you guys want to buy this controller. Check it out, I highly recommend it. That's been it guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys soon. Goodbye. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in I could swear that this room has been running out of air And now it's starting to spin